In this video, I'm going to show you how Zelda Breath of the Wild looks in virtual reality, and this is coming up. Hi and welcome to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang, and if this is your first time here, if you're just as excited about VR and AR as me, then subscribe now and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. So this is it. This is how Zelda Breath of the Wild is looking in VR on the Nintendo Labo VR Kit. For all of you who don't know yet what the Nintendo Labo VR Kit is, well, it's a $40 accessory made from cardboard that you can build yourself and then you have a do-it-yourself virtual reality headset for the Nintendo Switch. And since yesterday, you can play Zelda Breath of the Wild completely in virtual reality using that Nintendo Labo VR kit. Yes, and it's completely free of charge. Simply update Zelda and then you can play it. And what you see right now, this is in-game footage recorded through the lens, through the left lens of the Nintendo Labo VR kit. So yes, this is exactly how it looks. As you can tell, it doesn't look as good as the original at all. However, what you cannot see here right now is that, of course, you have two pictures on the right and left for the right and left eye, and you see everything in perfect 3D. Yeah, so you see everything in perfect 3D, and that does actually look pretty cool to really have this depth. So yes, to play Zelda Breath of the Wild or any Zelda for the first time in perfect 3D, this is pretty cool. However, unfortunately, it's not so easy to play this game because you have to hold the Nintendo Labo VR kit to your face all the time. And well, with your right and left hand, you're holding the toy cons. So if you really want to play this a long time in VR, it's going to be a tough call. It's really not very comfortable. So what you can do and what I also tried, you can lie down in bed, you can put the Nintendo Labo VR kit on your head, lying down and let gravity hold it in place and then you would simply play with a wireless controller. And that works perfectly. That's just as if you would be playing like um, Hell Hellblade. Senua Sacrifice and that of course is really cool. But unfortunately what you don't get is the beautiful visuals of Senua Sacrifice, of Hellblade Senua Sacrifice, but you get what you see right here. So resolution wise it is completely dumped down from its original to make this happen, to be able to play Zelda in an acceptable frame rate. And as you can tell, yes, you can play it, the frame rate is acceptable. However, it's not like perfectly smooth and sometimes the frame rate will even go down if you are in some situations with lots of enemies. So that part you have to know, the Switch is not the most powerful system and now trying to play Zelda in virtual reality with these two pictures, it is taxing on the system for sure. So, if you would not be lying in bed, if you somehow manage to strap this device to your head by some kind of do-it-yourself strap building power that you might have. And if you're wondering what happens if you look left and right or up and down, would you actually be able to look around in your world? Actually, no. The only thing that you can do is you can kind of control the camera when you look left and right. However, this does not feel like a true VR experience. So you can do the same thing with your right thumbstick. So you could uh, press right on the thumbstick and then the camera would change a bit or you could look right and the camera would change a bit. But that is not really satisfying VR. It doesn't give you the feeling of presence, of really being there. With Hellblade, Senua Sacrifice, you kind of feel like, all right, you're running through this world with Senua, but here, no, not really. However, again, as I told you, it's still cool to see everything in 3D. Just, it is not really a full VR mode. 
So the big question now is, would I want to play the whole game in VR now, now that I could? I can tell you very clearly, no. Especially not if I don't have a modded Nintendo Labo VR. If I have the Nintendo Labo VR just as it is, which means like I would have to hold the device to my head or I would have to lie down in bed and kind of let the device rest on my head in order to play for longer sessions. No, this is definitely not comfortable at all and I would not recommend it. Probably you can play for five minutes just to get a nice um, 3D view and an idea how this could look like. However, if you probably mod your Nintendo Labo VR, make it really comfortable, let's say with with the HTC Vive face mask and uh, probably put the Vive Deluxe audio strap onto this thing and build the Franken Nintendo Labo VR. Probably then I could see myself play longer sessions because yeah, it is cool to play Zelda in 3D. And you know what this really shows here? It shows the big promise of Nintendo VR. How great a real Nintendo VR headset could be. Something with a bit of a high resolution. And I wish, I wish so strongly that they would have built something like the PSVR, but for the Switch. They could have done it, but well, they have not. So I really hope that at one point in time, there is going to be a true Nintendo VR headset. So if you're a big fan of Zelda Breath of the Wild and you're watching this video to find out, hey, should I get the $40 Nintendo Labo VR kit to play this in VR? Well, if you got used to how beautiful Zelda Breath of the Wild looks in 2D on the Switch and on the television screen, then I don't think you can really enjoy these graphics. And that's why I made this video just to show it to you. However, if you ever wanted to see this in real 3D, well, it might be worth it for you to get the $40 Nintendo Labo VR kit. But then you must make sure to mod it, to mod it so that it becomes much more comfortable than it is right now. Also, another drawback of playing this version completely in VR is, let me continue here, <laughs> that you don't see the map if you play this in 2D, then you know you will see the map on the bottom right corner. But as you can tell here, you don't see the map. And if you want to see the map, you have to click on the minus button and just then will you see the map. So that is also not really great. And that actually, yeah, makes it even less uncomfortable or impractical to play the whole game in VR. So again, my conclusion, this could be so amazing and the 3D effect is cool, but I simply wish I could play this version on any of the other real VR headsets. And that's it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next video.